Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Natasha, AKA Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto. And today I'm bringing you a very versatile recipe for Keto Hot Pockets. I did savory hot pockets, but this could easily work as a peanut butter and jelly or a sweet hot pocket. So let's get to it. And today I'll have the aid of a very special helper. My son is gonna help me put these pockets together. It's a great recipe for you guys to do with your kids as well. Let's go. Let's dump it together. Okay, dump it in the bowl. Good job. I chill both the butter and the carb quick before getting started because it's gonna help give us a nice flaky crust. Continue to combine the cold butter and carb quick until you end up with a nice crumbly texture. Then add one third of a cup of very hot water to the mix. Sprinkle a marble slab or a parchment lined pan and then we're gonna get the dough onto that surface and start kneading. After kneading the dough for a few minutes, go ahead and return it to the slab with a little bit of carb quick there. You can do the same with parchment and start rolling out your dough. I roll my dough out pretty thin, about 1 8 of an inch. The idea is to roll the dough out thin enough so that you have a nice crust to filling ratio. I then take my pizza cutter and cut the dough into a rectangular shape. Cut the dough into four equal parts. Don't worry if you have excess dough. You can make that into something else like buttery, garlicky breadsticks. You have so many options to try. And look at my little helper go. He's gonna be a master in the kitchen. The first hot pocket is a pizza pocket, so I went ahead and added some onion and garlic powder, a little bit of pepper, some smoked paprika, and a pinch of salt. My boy loves pepperoni, so you know we had to add some to his pizza pocket. And what's a pizza pocket without some ooey gooey mozzarella? So we had to add some of that as well. Once you've added all the fillings to your pocket, go ahead and take a fork and go around the edges just to make sure that it's sealed up properly. And it also makes them look super cute too. Now onto our second hot pocket. I opted for a ham and Swiss version. So I just got the pancetta in the pan, along with a little bit of butter and some white onion, and sauteed those just to bring out the flavoring. We don't need to cook them, we're gonna bake them for a little while, just to bring the flavor out. I had some extra mozzarella on hand, so I added that as the base and then topped that with the pancetta and sauteed onion mix. I then went ahead and sprinkled a little bit more onion and garlic powder onto the ham and cheese hot pocket. I then layered on a single slice of Swiss cheese. No need to add too much or it may start to bubble out of the pocket. Once filled, you can go ahead and take a fork, go around the perimeter of the pocket and make sure it's sealed. I then gave the hot pockets a light brushing of egg wash to make sure that they glisten when they come out of the oven. You'll see. After adding the egg wash, I then go ahead and sprinkle the hot pockets with a little bit of kosher salt and into the oven they go. I bake the hot pockets at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight minutes, but check your oven because some run hotter than others. Just wait until they're nice and golden brown the way you see here. Once golden brown, I remove the pockets from the oven and let them cool on a cooling rack to keep them nice and crispy. Keep that outer coating nice and flaky and it's so buttery. You guys are gonna love it. Also, I did score the top of the dough and I think that helps it cook more evenly. Either case, it came out well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure not to keep it to yourself. Share it with somebody that you know will enjoy it as well. Sharing is caring, guys. Also, be sure to like the video if you did. It really does help the channel. I love hearing from you guys and interacting with you, so please be sure to leave a comment below and let me know about more keto recipes that you'd like to see featured on the channel. I'll do my very best to get those up for you. And until next time, my divas, stay safe and be well.